Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I'm a senior 3D artist. In this little tips and tricks tutorial, we're going to take a look at Maya and duplicating, checking hard edges, soft edges, how to create them, separating, combining, things like that. Some very, very simple things that actually some, some people have a little difficult time with. So we've got this sphere in our viewport. As you can see, it's really tiny in our perspective viewport. These are different views. Anytime you accidentally have something where it's way, way out here into infinity, just hit the F key. You can do that with any one of these. Just zoom in a little bit more as you need to. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit my space bar to bring up the main viewport or to actually bring this particular panel viewport in. This is our sphere. If we look at our sphere, the, the, the attributes on it, we have 20 subdivisions. I'm going to change that to 12. And I'm going to change that to 12. All right, so if I deselect, you can see it's a little bit faceted. Let's go ahead and go to our shading, and we'll turn off the wireframe on shaded. All right, so it looks pretty faceted. It's not smooth. It's not clean. So really quickly, if you don't have a custom shortcut for this, to find where you're going to smooth these normals, etc., go up to Normals and go to Soften Edge. That'll automatically soften the edges on that particular mesh. If you want hard edges on it, normals, hard edge. Pretty easy. So you get it nice and faceted, etc. Let's go ahead and just go back to normals and we're going to smooth that. One of the nice things about uh, Maya is, is it retains a lot of uh, the history on some of the items as you're working with it. We're not going to mess with anything on the history for this particular mesh, but we are going to go look at uh, duplicating and combining and separating, and then we want to look at these edges. So we're going to look at the edges first. If, for say, I'm going to go ahead and click to my little custom menu, I want to insert an edge loop. I'm just going to do that right here. Now this, this we're not going to this we've gone over in another tutorial, so I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to create those so we've got them. All right. So we've got two extra edge loops, but we're going to create a hard edge on one of these, on this piece and on this edge right here. Okay. So to do that, all I have to do is double click that edge. We're going to create a hard edge. Double click this and hit a hard edge. Honestly, it doesn't look like anything's changed, but it will. Let's go ahead and go over here. We're going to get to our vertices. We're going to grab these vertices. I'm just roping and dragging. I'm holding my shift down and rope and drag some more. I'm going to scale this. This is the R key. I'm just going to scale this down. And I'm going to scale it disproportionately on the Y. Okay. Let's go back to our perspective view. I'm going to get out of the sub object. And as you can see, we've now got a hard edge here. It kept it very nicely. I like that about Maya. Of course, you can always go back in and just smooth edge it. Makes it a little bit difficult to see where the edges are that way. But maybe you want to go that way. I would double click on that edge, double click on that edge, double click on, oops. We just got something we didn't want to. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and just hold down my control key and deselect those. All right. Now that these all these edges are the edge loops are selected, I'm just going to hit hard edge and hit F8. And there we go. We've got smooth edges, we've got hard hard edges, and those will maintain as we go through. It's a great way to, especially when you're doing something kind of low poly or even semi-live poly, even high poly, especially with mechanical stuff. It's a great way for you to really separate out where the stuff is going to be, when, especially when you go for subdividing the model and then uh, taking it into another application and really adding in millions of polygons. This is a great way for you to differentiate between the soft and hard edges. It's really, really simple again. We can actually have gone into this in any one of these things we can create a hard edge with. If I get to my edge I can just double click this again and do a hard edge right there let's see I'll just go to my vertices I'll scale this down a little bit I'll hit R and I'll scale it in proportionately and then I'll move it W 
just on the Y. And let's go ahead and we're going to grab this edge here and hard edge it. F8 to get out. There you go. It's just really just that simple. Again, if you don't have a shortcut key for it, a little shortcut, just go up to normals and it's soften edge, hard edge, harden edge, soft edge, hard edge. Okay, makes it really nice and simple. Okay, so let's say we want to duplicate this model. Well, in Maya, it's pretty quick, pretty quick and easy. Just Control D. I'm going to move it W, and I'm going to grab one of these little handles and move it out of the way. All right, so we have two completely different objects. Let's go to Window to Outliner. This is our outliner. It shows you basically everything that's in the scene. We have two different spheres. Well, originally they were spheres. They're obviously no longer spheres. Okay. But let's go ahead and let's say we wanted this to be combined. We want this to be one object. Well, it's fairly simple. You just have to grab them both. What do you want to do with a mesh? Well, if you're talking about a mesh, you want to you know, adjust it, etc. Click the mesh up here in the menu. Just go to Menu, Combine. So combine the meshes. So we do have them as one object now. As you can see, here's the object. It's a poly surface. However, you can see we have some remnants left over. Those remnants have to be gotten rid of. The functionality of this, the function of this is not quite finished. We haven't quite finished with this, creating this as a single object. In order to finish this, and I don't know why they do it in Maya, I understand it, but uh, there's, there's a thing called a history. Maya carries a history on every object. Everything you do to the object, everything you do to it, it's, it's got a history to it. It, I can understand why it can be used in some things, but I know as a hardcore modeler, I tend not to use history. I, I tend to just have to take it out. So in order to get rid of the history, just go up to Edit, Delete by Type, and, oops, and History. Now you can see where those remnants are gone. We now have one object only, okay? There's no way to differentiate between the two. The nice thing is, is to get into sub-object, I just hit F8, and I'm, I can grab the vertices edges, everything of both objects at the same time. If I hit F8, I'm back out. I'm going to go ahead and hide this. Let's assume, though, we want to separate. All right, let's go back to Mesh, Separate. Again, let's look at our Outliner. We now have a poly service, but it's now technically a group. You can tell that because there's a little, error, uh, little plus here. If you click the plus, we have two different objects here and here, but we also have a function. We can't have that function here. It's going to screw things up. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. Again, edit, delete by type, history. We now have a group with two separate items in it. Now we can keep it in the group, which is fine. I have no problem with that. Or we can always take something out. Like if we want to take one out, we just middle, cloud, middle mouse hold, click, drag. There. Now this particular group only has one item. Kind of doesn't make any sense to have just a single item. Let's go ahead and grab this middle mouse, click, and drag on the poly surface. There you go, one item again. But this way, I can either select the item here, I can select the item via my outliner, or for organizational purposes, I can grab just the, the group itself, and I've got it right there and then. Easy, simple. It's good for organization. Uh, I like to group things, especially when I have a lot of a lot of items in the scenes. It comes in handy. But that's just a quick introduction to uh, duplicating, to merging, separating, and then to dealing with edges of objects in Maya. Hope this has been fun for you. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and this has been 3dmotive.com. Thanks very much for watching.